Hey everyone, welcome back to the RP Games YouTube channel while this beautiful song plays on the background. My name is Ralph and this is Marie's Room. Marie's Room is a story-driven game which is free on Steam and it's a game about friendship. The friendship between Marie and Kelsey. Now something happened to Marie and we will be playing as Kelsey who visits Marie's room 20 years later. Now I'm quite excited to be playing this game because it's actually created by a Belgian game studio called Like Charlie. I'm gonna leave a link in the description of the video and um, check them out, give them a follow on social media, that would be really nice. They are currently working on a new game called Ghost on the Shore, so uh, keep an eye on that one as well. And uh, let's check out this room. I didn't want to come back. Why would I, after all that's happened, even in here? So, where is the journal? Well, here we are. Don't need to go in there. That's the bathroom. Oh, well. If we're gonna spend a whole bunch of time in uh, Marie's room, we might want to go... More than a hundred again today? Glad I don't have to deal with that anymore. We might just go to the bedroom first, right? No, that's her parents' room. Let's see. Look, Mr. Torres. I'm happy he finally got remarried. A honeymoon in the Bahamas. Wish I was there with them. Yeah, Bahamas. That sounds pretty good to me. California crisp white wines. Mm. I'll need a crate of those when I get out of here. Is that me? Oh my god, the hair. What was I thinking? <laughs> well, you know, we all have, uh, you know, we all did things that we are less proud of. When we get older. Let's see. No entry unless you're a tourist from the future. Well, I guess I qualify. It's a beautiful room. It's really nicely done. Let's see what's up here. Bumblebee. And here is the journal. Kelsey. Yes, I'm talking to you. I know you've been reading my journal. Can I ever forgive you for what you did? Honestly, I don't know. I'm trying really hard, but I don't know how. Because I don't understand any of it. You are my friend, and I loved you unconditionally. I did what I did because of you, and I stood up to him because of you. But you... I don't know. Right now, I can't be near you, so I don't want you to come find me. I promise I'll be alright. Marie. Except she wouldn't be. She would not be alright. Oh, and now we're in uh, a different room all of a sudden. Well, it's actually still the same room. We just... Uh, when back in time, maybe? I have a dream. She once asked me, Don't you ever dream, Kelsey? And I said, I don't. I don't dream. I plan. What I didn't tell her was that I wouldn't allow anyone to mess with those plans. Well, I would say that is a... Uh healthy way to live your life. That's Trevor's phone number. 
He called her. I know he blamed her for everything, though she should have blamed him for what he did to her and Mr. Torres. Hmm, what did you do, buddy? Oh, we're going on a room exploration tour. I need to find the key. A oh. five-figure number. <laughs> Okay, if you've seen my uh, previous Let's Play, then you know that there was a similar code that I had to look for to open a safe and, well, for the love of me, I couldn't find it. So, I'm expecting a similar result in this video. Let's uh, try and keep our eyes open to find a five-digit number somewhere. Oh boy. Well, I don't want to give up already. I'm, uh, like five minutes into the game. She loved being a birthday girl. Mr. Torres would take her shopping every year. She loved being a birthday girl. Mr. Torres would take her shopping every year. I loved skinny dipping, but Marie insisted on wearing this thing. Really, I mean, it was Mr. Jones's pool. After dark, no one would ever come close to the freak. And he wasn't there, just to be clear. But someone else was. Okay, so they went uh, swimming in someone's pool who apparently is a freak. And then they noticed someone else was there. Hmm. I couldn't afford a car. And Marie didn't want one, so we rode our bikes everywhere. I thought I looked silly. And with those damn sparkly shoes, I probably did. Yeah, I was losing my glamour status at school right there. Well, I mean, if you're wearing sparkly shoes, that, you know, that is glamour. No? I would say... Food rescue. Yeah, it was a good place to be. Until Marie showed up. I know she didn't mean anything by it, but the pity in her eyes. Worse than being hungry. The green eatery. Green as in with fungus. Yes, I am never eating Ayurvedic lasagna ever again. But some people must have liked Mr. Jones's cooking because he was out every night cooking his green stuff. Well, I could use some lasagna now. I don't know if I want the Ayurvedic version, but um, lasagna is pretty much my favorite meal ever. And uh, there's a doormat. I'm not a shadow person. Yeah, it took me all I had to convince her she wasn't. What does that even mean? Okay, and I see that our journal is updating, so I guess I have to check that in a moment as well. Oh, there is a takeout menu. Is there more lasagna? Every Tuesday, the food trucks would roll in. Me and Marie never missed Jorge's tamales. When I was a kid, Jorge would put some aside, just in case my mom was too drunk to feed me again. Oh, well, that's a pretty sad story there. She asked me why I was so angry all the time, and I told her because it's a dirty deal. It's Russian roulette and utterly unfair. The cards I'd been dealt. Any player would have passed. I chose to be angry instead. But Marie? My friend Marie. She got me a new deck. And suggested I deal again. That's a pretty cool present idea, actually. It's, a, it's such a simple thing, but... You know, the meaning behind it is really cool. Oh, here they are. The glamour shoes. 
He had money. You see? He bought me things. I was gonna wear these to the prom. Fancy, right? At the time, I didn't know where the money came from. Hmm. The music takes an ominous uh, sound, turn, I don't know, English. There's no such thing as food waste. And don't I know it. The smell of garbage will be in my nose forever. And the taste of it in my mouth. I swore I would never be that hungry again. I didn't care what it took. Well, someone likes pizza. Marie insisted on saving these. She was going to make a new world with them. Whatever that was supposed to be. I've never actually seen her build anything. Create a new world with pizza boxes? What is that gonna look like? Uh oh. Is there a, ooh, there is a, a smoking jar. She hated my cigarettes. Every time I felt like going out and buying a pack, she made me put the money in that money jar. One day that money would pay for our gas to drive to college. We only needed money for the one way. I ended up using it to get to Vancouver. Well, I uh, cannot fault her for her opinion about cigarettes. There's a stone. I didn't like that she kept the stone. Why did she have to be reminded? I told her I was sorry, but she said it was for me to remind me. Don't tell me you hit Marie in the head with a stone. You threw a stone through a window? Mr. Torres and Marie were robbed in their own house Ooh. not long after we met at food rescue He was stabbed almost died. She was knocked out with a baseball bat. Oh shit. She was in the hospital for a while stitches concussion She still had headaches. She said Yeah, I can imagine if you're whacked in the head with a baseball bat Wow, okay so, uh, yeah, there is a lot going on here. Uh, let's see, there is some all-star sneakers there. Oh, there is Kelsey's phone, my phone. I thought I was so lucky. An adoring boyfriend, free burgers from the kitchen he worked in, sparkly things he bought me. I thought if I took care of him, he'd take care of me. And we'd get out just in case I didn't get that scholarship. I had no idea where the money came from. All right, so I have a sparkly phone case. Well, if you know, if the boyfriend had any taste, it would match my sparkly shoes, but it doesn't, does it? Anyway, she made a remark twice already about I didn't know where the money came from. So is Trevor some kind of like drug dealer or something like that? Is that far fetched? Ooh, there is a television set. Have you seen this man? <laughs> yeah, I've seen him. Okay, well, that didn't make a lot of things clear. At least, not to me. Let me know in the comments about all the clues that I'm missing. Uh, I'm sure you can fill the whole comment section with them. Hated that thing. Well, tell us how you feel, Kelsey. Just tell us. Chemistry holds no surprises. Love that. Ring binder, sheet of... Oh, there is stuff on the floor. 
That's Maria's birthday. That's weird. I guess she wrote it down for that Ben guy. For her pizza and movie party. All right, I might have been a little jealous. Okay, so... Can we somehow distill... Like... A five number combination from this? Like... Zero, four, zero, three, and then three slices of pizza? So zero, four, zero, three, three, would that maybe open up, uh, yeah, who knows? Let's, uh, let's try that in a sec. Let's, uh, explore some more. Ah, uh, yes. The science project. Of all people, they chose to pair me with the girl from Food Rescue. Outrageous. But I got over it and chose to work my ass off. I had to if I wanted to get that scholarship. <laughs> Think like a proton and stay positive. Hey, well, I want a poster like that. Someone sent me a link to Etsy or something like that. And I'll have to get that. What is this? Time travel. Oh, that's a future tourist uh, reference. She wouldn't stop about time travel and black holes and stuff. I just wanted to do something simple. Calculate shit. Boring is what she said. Her. The weird kid talked boring. So yeah, we settled on antimatter. Because who wants to be boring? Yeah, that's true. So we have pictures on the wall. Oh. That's her and her dad. Thick as thieves, those two. Ever since Lorraine died, they only had each other. Marie was suffering when he was in intensive care. That was a nasty knife wound. Trevor. What an asshole. After we broke up, he got violent sometimes. One day, he dragged me through the school hall by my shirt. Until one of Marie's geek friends stopped him. Ben, I think it was. He got a lot of shit for it later. I see. Well, this Trevor guy is uh, turning out to be a real doozy. Okay. And what exactly does this do? Not very much. It's not a drawer. Lorraine, Marie's mom, died when she was five. My mother, she might as well have been dead. She looked more dead than alive, anyhow. Passed out on the couch, empty bottles of gin on the floor. Well. One happy family. We cannot play music. There is a world map. Where have you been? Marie always dreamed about going to Europe. I don't think she ever went. Well, that's a pity. Because there is uh, so much to see in Europe. Sometimes it got so hot. This thing wasn't doing it anymore. Then we'd take off to Mr. Jones's swimming pool. That night, I guess he must have seen us. Okay, so something happened at the swimming pool. That much is clear. I wore those a lot. Not to protect my eyes, but to hide them. I didn't want anyone to know. Oh, wow. So this Trevor guy... Ooh, this is, um, huh, pardon the pun, hitting close to home, actually, because I was recording this video. Um, this is actually the second time I'm recording this video. The first time I was interrupted for, uh, I don't know, kind of a bit of a strange situation uh, with uh, a family member of one of my roommates. 
and uh, let's say it's uh, it was very close to this story and I had to intervene and the police had to come over yeah that's not stuff I want to deal with uh, too many times disgusting but cheap I got used to them after I didn't want to go to the food kitchen anymore. The vicious taste of these meatballs still beat the humiliation of being served by Marie. Well, um, yeah, meatballs, not for me. Orange peels. They've Have been. Have you ever peeled an orange so juicy the drops erupted from underneath the skin like fireworks in the setting sun? The trees in Mr. Jones's garden had them. I used to live off his garden vegetables and fruit before I met Trevor. Okay. Well, um, I would say let's take a look at. Uh this journal now quite curious so there is a lot uh, last hope food rescue high school kid saves classmates from hunger November 9 2017 after that school article people kept asking why I did it as if I were some kind of hero. So stupid. And I keep telling them the same story. Aren't they sick of it yet? Maybe I should publish a book. My life story. They'll stop bugging me, crazy people. Here for the last time? Last fall I caught a kid stealing someone's lunch from a backpack. As he stuffed the sandwich in his mouth, our eyes locked. He panicked, dropped the food and ran. I never realized some of my classmates were actually hungry. So I joined Food Rescue to help. There, the end. Is everyone satisfied? I uh, noticed that we've been going for 20 minutes. So that means that I'm going to end the video right here. Yes, boo, I know, I know. Um, I'm gonna come back with part two while we um, continue this journal and see what we've learned. And uh, yeah, looking forward to exploring a bit more of Marie's room. Thank you very much for watching. As always, please comment, like, subscribe if you're enjoying the content. And I will see you in the next video.